Yo, 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 it's your friend Dinner Dog. And there's Sunfire One when it comes to the randomizer. And you may have been online and see some people play a preset, and you're like, oh, I want to try that. And you go to Sonio and you can't find it. Well, it's because at this time, there are some presets that aren't on Sonio, and you can find them fairly exclusively on the Long Library Discord. So, in this video, we're going to talk about what um, RaceBot or Long Library Discord um, exclusive presets are, and then we'll look at how we generate them. So, let's get started. All right, so the, um, oh, we're skipping ahead here, oh my god. So how it works here, right, is that the the randomizer is very open source, which is very fantastic, right? So um, sometimes people will go in and they'll make their own presets um, based on the fact that this thing is um, is open source. So um, some of those aren't available on Sone.io. And I think there's actually, in some cases, some of them can't be on Sone.io because of like some technical limitations, but um, either way, it doesn't matter. The, um, what matters is that the, um, they're not there, but you still can get them. And the way you get them is going to the Long Library Discord. So ironically, on Sone.io, there is a link to the Discord, and you can get into it from there. And once you're there, there are two ways you can find these things. The, um, the more obscure way is just like someone's put PPF files into, um, into one of the, um, the discussion boards, most likely the, the randomizer um, chat. And um, you can go in there, find them, and, and then use them from there. Or alternatively, our race spot's been upgraded. That um, it doesn't just create um, race seeds, which it does, but um, you can also ask it to just generate a seed outside of a race and and you know be able to enjoy it. So um, th there's two of those methods we can use there. The um, obviously with a Discord post, you just gotta find the PPF file. But um, we're gonna be going into detail on how you make it happen with the race spot and be able to do it effectively on command. Now, if you're not sure what a PPF is, check out the 105 video. It's it's kind of talking about how to be involved in a race, but it also covers PPFs. Just use the the correct annotation to get to the port you need, and then um and you'll be set up for success from there. So, these presets range from a lot of things, right? I mean, a lot of people who are posting PPFs um um by themselves are um you know they might be asking for feedback, you know, experimental all that kind of stuff, and then there's other stuff which is like really fully fleshed out. So at the time of recording, there are four presets that you can get um, with the race bot itself using it to generate command. Or, I mean, you could start a race as well, but if you're just looking to play a seed, you can just use the command of generate. So um, those presets currently are Boss Rush, which is my favorite. I think it's fantastic. Bounty Hunter, Summoner, and Aperture. So those are the ones you can get on the website or on the, the Discord right now. And let's talk about how you can uh, make that happen, all right? So get onto the Long Library Discord first. And then when you're in there, go to, you can do this from any text channel, but, um, you know, probably do it, I guess it doesn't matter, just do it from any text channel. Go to the bottom and just type slash generate. Don't press enter, just press slash generate, right? The, um, you then, when you're there, if you look on this picture here, you can just click on um, this image here, or you can hit tab, and it's going to bring you to the next menu, which is going to ask you which preset would you like. And you're going to see a bunch of them that exist on Soton.io. And then if you keep scrolling, you'll see some of those, um, of, of one of like the four we looked at in the, um, the previous slide here. And you can select one of those. Once you've done that and you selected your preset, it's going to look like this uh, here. You can either just hit enter, and it'll just... Um, it'll create the PPF file for you. Or if you want, you can start editing additional options. So those are um, um, tournament mode. And this is from the perspective of Soton.io tournament mode. And you can see my um, my my 101.01 tutorial on what that's all about. But um, but specifically from a Soton.io perspective, the um, the description you can see it here talks about um, like referees and stuff like that. And that is true when you use um, slash start. The, um, because if you use slash starts for starting a race, it will always be in tournament mode from a Sone.io perspective. But they just use like this; they use the same function for it. It doesn't matter, right? The um, the biggest thing is just knowing if you want tournament mode from a Sone.io perspective on a, um, on a on a PPF that was generated by the race bot by using the slash generate command, then just turn it to true. Alternatively, you can also look at public, and they gets like all these are default to false, and you could theoretically turn public to true but you don't want to do that we, we make fun of people when they do that if you leave public as false it will the brace bot will send a message specifically to you that only you can see and give you the file you need you don't need to send anyone else a notification right just just go and do your thing the um lastly you can change vanilla music um from just being the standard music where you would be in, in certain areas to change it so that the music soundtrack is randomized uh, for, um and it will play in places that you wouldn't necessarily see them in the game. So that's how it works there. If it doesn't work, 
there's probably one of two reasons. One is that there's a problem and um, we may need to tell someone about it, but the way you can tell if it's a problem is um, like many things in Discord, you can just find like um, a post by the race bot, um, click, on, which is called Tin Man. The, um, you can click on its profile and see if it's online. If Tin Man is offline, it's probably offline for a reason. It's kept up pretty uh, frequently. The, um, or like if it says it's generating and it's online, you might just need to give it a moment. But um, typically it's fine. And like nine times out of 10 when someone goes in the Discord and says, hey, this isn't working, it's just that the bot is offline. We just need to be patient. It'll come back online soon enough, right? So that's all I got for this one here. Hopefully you can go and enjoy those presets and get a good understanding about how you can get access to those and any other um, presets that people make and just post PPFs um, for. So that's where you get it. It's all in the Discord. That's it for this one. If you've got additional questions, leave them in the comments. If I've missed anything, leave a comment as well. And um, otherwise, we'll see you in the next one. Eh? Cheers.